It takes courage and determination to ignore a manipulator. If you ignore a manipulator, what happens now? Will they choose another victim or start harassing you? Manipulators want to control. They use tactics designed to undermine your confidence and self-esteem, making it harder to break away from them. So what happens when you ignore a manipulator? Here are eight things manipulators try to regain control. Number one, they start a smear campaign against you. If a manipulator can't control you, they'll exert their influence on people that know you. Manipulators are prolific liars. They are not ashamed about spreading untrue rumors or badmouthing you. This creates distance between you and your support network. Once you are isolated, they can regain control once again. Manipulators also like to denigrate your friends and family members. They might say a certain person is a bad influence on you and you should cut them from your life. Number two, they guilt trip you into contacting them. Typically, what happens when you ignore a manipulator is that they escalate their behavior. Guilt tripping is on page one of the manipulator's playbook. It's a way of gaslighting you to believe you have done something wrong. One tactic is to remind you of everything they've done for you. How they tolerated you when no one else would. Or they might blame you for their circumstances, saying they'd be better off if they hadn't met you and now you owe them something. It's your fault they are in the mess they're in. Number three, they create an emergency. If guilt tripping doesn't work, the next stage is coming up with an emergency you cannot ignore. Narcissists are manipulative and they cannot stand being ignored. Narcissists must be the center of attention. They'll take drastic action to get your attention back. Creating an emergency can involve threatening suicide or self-harm and then not responding to your calls. Start dating a close friend of yours. Tell you they are being evicted and they have nowhere to go. Binging on drink or drugs and calling you from the hospital, blaming you because you weren't there to stop them. Criminal behavior and asking you to bail them out. Show up drunk at places they know you frequent. Number four, they bombard you with texts and calls. In the film Fatal Attraction, Alex Forrest tells the married man, Dan, I won't be ignored, Dan. Narcissists and sociopaths hate losing control. How dare you refuse to answer their messages? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you're dealing with? The messages may start off in a casualing and loving manner, but if you ignore a manipulator, they'll soon turn nasty. The messages often follow a pattern, for instance. Pleading. I miss you so much, please return my call. Matter of fact statements. Look, I just want to talk, call me. Threatening behavior. Listen, you stupid bitch, pick up the phone right now or you'll be sorry. Saying sorry, please forgive me. I didn't know what I was doing. It will all start over again when they don't get a response. Using fatal attraction again as an example, Dan relents after Alex calls him 20 times. A detective tells him that what he's done is proved to her it takes 20 calls for him to answer. Number five, they'll use inventive ways to contact you. If a direct approach doesn't work, the manipulator will resort to covert methods of contacting you. This might include liking or commenting on social media posts. Posting anniversary photos to your Facebook wall or asking their followers to comment on the situation. Manipulators have no qualms about approaching your friends and family members. As a result, you may get a call from one of them. If they are vindictive, they can go through your place of work, knowing that constant interruptions could jeopardize your career. Number six, they bring in a third party, triangulation. Triangulation is where you bring in a third party to a dispute to get that person on your side. 
Manipulators sometimes brainwash a family member or friend to square off against you. For instance, if they get on with your parents, they might show fake concern about your career or love life. Now your mother and father are involved and instead of you battling the manipulator, you're taking on your family members. Of course, the manipulator will use charm and persuasion to convince your parents they only have your best interests at heart. Number seven, they act as if nothing is wrong. What happens when you ignore a manipulator? Sometimes they go on as normal. You might think the relationship is over and you've made your feelings clear. Then out of the blue, a few months later, the manipulator contacts you with a message like, hey, how are you doing? Fancy catching up later? You're shocked. This person may have cheated or broken up with you. They may have bombarded you with texts and calls and you've never replied. In the end, you blocked their number and went on with your life. Now, out of the blue, they pop up as if you are BFs and nothing has happened. Number eight, they punish you for ignoring them. There is nothing as scary and dramatic as narcissistic rage. But rage is not just a trait of narcissists. When certain manipulators don't get what they want, this turns into an uncontrollable rage. They will punish you for ignoring them. A manipulator will lash out physically or verbally or both. They'll attack your reputation, your relationships, and your new partner. They'll even go after your finances. The moment you leave a manipulator for good and they realize control is gone is the most dangerous time for victims. The take home. I've talked about what happens when you ignore a manipulator, so what should you do? It is best to maintain no contact. You can't reason or challenge a manipulator. They are not looking to resolve an issue with an honest conversation. You are under no obligation to explain your actions with a manipulator. Manipulators are like bullies. If they don't get the reaction they want, eventually they'll get bored and move on to someone else. That's it for this video. Please feel free to share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for your time, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to never miss future uploads. And I see you in the next video for a happier, healthier mind.